So hi, hello and welcome again, Mike Rope Hunter here and today I would like uh, to do another review video of a microscope and this uh, time it's the Euromax B-scope. Uh, you see it over here, um, some time ago I already made a video, a review video about the iScope but this one here is the smaller brother of the iScope and uh, it's the binocular model but the trinocular model is also available and uh, yeah I put it on a little turntable today so that you're able to see it uh, from all sides and uh, what I'm going to do in, in is I'm going to have a closer look at the different features um, of the microscope again and would like to introduce the microscope to you. So let's start off uh, with one of the most uh, important aspects. How many objectives and how many magnifications uh, can you have here? Well, uh, the revolving nose piece accepts five objectives uh, and four are pre-installed. So there is one spare place uh, for another objective. So it's four times, 10 times, 40 times, and of course also 100 times oil immersion objective. The eyepieces um, are of course 10 times magnifying and they have a field of a view of 20. So this is already a little bit larger um, than uh, yeah, lower cost microscopes, but it's also a little bit smaller than the larger model, the iScope, which I reviewed uh, a couple of weeks ago. So this makes it a very nice microscope, not only for your routine laboratory use, uh, but also of course for amateur use and for hobby use. Now the microscope does come with a three watt LED. Um, the LED is exchangeable um, yes, you are able to buy spare parts um, as well. The website of Euromex uh, offers a large list of different spare parts that you can buy. Um, and uh, also uh, interesting here is that the microscopes allows you to be operated with, a ba with a batteries. So it accepts three uh, uh, AA, AA batteries um, and this makes you independent of a power source. Yeah, I think uh, this is then especially interesting if you're using maybe the microscope also in an educational setting where you have to transport the microscope around and where a power supply is not always um, available. However, it is of course a little bit too large, actually uh, quite significantly too large um, to be sufficiently portable to be used as a field microscope. Um, yeah, it's simply too large and too heavy for that. Um, so the batteries are I think uh, more useful in a laboratory setting where you do not have uh, immediate access to a power supply. Other um, standard features uh, that are of course included are diopter adjustments. Uh, yes, that's of course always very important. And uh, just like uh, yeah, the eye scope, look what I'm able to do here. I'm able to rotate uh, both eyepieces all the way up here. So I'm able to adjust again the height. This is a very uh, nice uh, feature, uh, feature as well. And uh, let's have now a closer look at another interesting feature here. And that is that there is a little filter holder here. Look at this. Uh, so this allows you to place uh, a, a polarizing filter, an analyzer in here. So you're able to easily convert the microscope uh, for polarization work as well. And I'm going to make a separate video on that to convert it um, to polar for polarized work. I think uh, that's a very uh, fun project as well, especially if you're um, into amateur microscopy. Now let's have a closer look um, at the stage um, of this microscope. It is a so-called a rackless stage. That means if I turn uh, yeah, the, the mechanical stage here, then there are no protruding parts. Uh, so this uh, is also quite nice. And uh, look at this, uh, by simply loosening the screws here, Okay, I'm able uh, to take out uh, yeah, the slide holder. Um, so this uh, uh, can be removed very quickly and easily for easy cleaning. And, uh, and it's uh, made of, uh, I think a very solid, um, solidly made and uh, quite a high quality and look, yeah, it doesn't even snap back uh, very quickly. So that's also a very nice thing so that there is, it's kind of dampened, the, um, the spring action is dampened, which also gives it a little bit of a protection so that the slides don't break if you snap it back. So, but let's put it back here again. And uh, let's now have um, a look um, at uh, some of the other features here. On the right side of the microscope, there is the focus lock lever, and this allows you to lock the stage at the highest position. So for example, if you do not want the stage to go higher, the higher than this, then you simply flip over the focus lock lever like this, and then this is, will be the highest position. This is not only important for protecting the objectives uh, so that they do not crash into the slide, uh, but it's also a very nice feature, especially when you do oil immersion work, uh, because then you're able to simply lower the stage um, you're able to add, um, apply some immersion oil to the new slide and you simply use the coarse focus knob, knob uh, to raise the stage again to the maximum position and everything is in focus again. On the other side of the microscope uh, you have a focus tension adjustment ring. 
And uh, here um, you can, by turning this ring, you're able to uh, adjust uh, the tension of the coarse focus knob. So if uh, you feel that it is uh, too light to turn, then you can simply tighten it um, a little bit um, and you can adjust it to your own uh, personal preferences. The condenser of uh, the B-scope uh, also has uh, two centering screws. Uh, yeah, so that means you're able to align the condenser properly with the illumination system. And of course, you're also able to raise and lower the condenser as well. Of course, there's also a condenser aperture diaphragm uh, that you can, uh, yeah, where you can open and close the aperture diaphragm. Yeah, on the back of uh, the microscope, there is a cable management system. So you can wrap around um, any yeah, excess uh, cable here so that uh, it's not uh, basically <laughs> occupying uh, some desk space. The main switch here is on the back as well. And this one over here is a little slot uh, for a Kensington lock so that uh, if you do not want the microscope to be stolen here, then you're able to uh, yeah, attach a lock here and then tie the microscope down and then it's uh, also protected. Now, um, concerning the eyepieces, um, the, the uh, these are so-called uh, student-proof uh, eyepieces. Uh, this means that uh, the eyepieces uh, cannot be simply taken out. There is a screw. There are two screws that you have to loosen, and then you're able to take them out. Yeah. So basically, this is referred to as making the um, microscope student-proof, so that students are not able to steal uh, the eyepieces. Uh, uh, who who would do that anyway? I would say. <laughs> but in any case, this is also an additional feature that I would like to to mention here. Also in, a, in, in an educational uh, setting, in a laboratory setting where there are multiple people using the same microscope, uh, the head um, of uh, the microscope can be rotated quite smoothly as well. Um, so if there are, yeah, for example, two students or two people who would like to use uh, the microscope uh, concurrently, you can see that um, yeah, the head can be rotated quite easily this way. The B-scope um, also has a field diaphragm um, here, which um, allows you to restrict the light only to the part of the specimen that you want to have illuminated. This uh, reduces uh, reflections, internal reflections, and increases the contrast in some specimens. Um, so it also should be mentioned here. And if you look very carefully, there is a little sticker here on the side, uh, which uh, states uh, Globe Scientific. Now, what is that? Well, that is uh, the partner company of Euromax uh, for North America. So if you are interested in um, buying the microscope in North America, then you can visit the website of Globe Scientific. Um, and uh, then they're able to give you all of the relevant support. Uh, uh, that, uh, And there's also um, all of the necessary accessories can be obtained over them as well. Simply would like to mention this because uh, some of my viewers in the previous videos always asked me, okay, can this microscope only be bought in Europe or are there also other international retailers that are able, partners that are able to make the microscope accessible? And yes, there is. And Globe Scientific is now responsible for covering the North American market. So I have now uh, taken out uh, one of the eyepieces and uh, put in a USB microscope camera. And uh, you can already see one of the pictures uh, behind me. It's a cross section of a plant stem, of a sunflower stem. It's one of my favorite uh, pictures. And uh, over the next uh, couple of uh, minutes, I'm going to show you a few more examples of some plant and animal tissues. And uh, yes, uh, I would like uh, to also use this time now to say a big thank you to the company Euromax who made again this microscope available to me to do this uh, review. And if you yourself are interested uh, in this microscope or related uh, products, uh, I already mentioned the website from Globe Scientific, but also the Euromax uh, website itself has the so-called Euromax Academy, um, which is a place where you can download the instruction manuals uh, for a variety of microscopes. And also um, the website contains uh, some instructional videos uh, where you can get some additional information. So, and what I'm going to do now is, is I'm going to say bye-bye. I hope uh, that this uh, video was uh, informative for you. Um, yes, I wish you all the best. Uh, happy microbe hunting as always. And uh, see you around next time. Bye-bye.